Hi there, we've got a great announcement for the start of term four because all of our students across all years are going to see a brand new student portal when they next sign in. So uh, what we have here are three different portals. The one on the left is for our K to two students. The middle one is for our three to six students and the one on the right hand side is for our high school students or years seven to 12. And if we take a closer look at each of these, we can see that uh, there is some uh, icons, there are some links that are shown in different boxes, but at the top right here is our student uh, signed on portal uh, avatar. And this is where the student's name is shown, the uh, options to change the password, uh, some help information and an option to log out. Immediately below that is something that kids will love to do and that is change colors, customize their screen a little bit. So if they prefer to have it in green, they can do that. If they want to jump back to purple, it's just a matter of clicking and they can select the color and that color will follow them next time that they, they log on to a different device or the next time that they sign in. Immediately below that is the launch pad. Now this is a custom set of icons that the department provides initially uh, containing all of those things that the department offers, uh, making it easy for students to get to those particular services and resources. So their student email is there, the school's library or Oliver, Premier's reading challenge, all of the Google functions, including the brand new Google Meet that's now been made available for our students from the start of term four, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Adobe Connect, and some T4L resources that are also available. Now these shortcuts are provided by the department, but around the middle of term four, teachers can expect to be able to customize, push out their own shortcuts to all of their students based on year group or across the whole school if they want to. And they can simply add here and this box can grow accordingly. Below that is an area for my bookmarks, and this is a customizable area by the student. So if they've got specific websites that they would like easy access to, they can come in here and add their own bookmarks very easily. And uh, there's an example there of uh, reading eggs has been added. These options down the bottom, department games, department learning, are provided by the department, and uh, there's a whole lot of different ways of getting to different content. So that's the uh, K to two portal. If we jump across to the three to six student portal, I'll just maximize that. And what we have is similar functions, but in here you've also got update secret questions. So uh, our students in three to six have an ability to set secret questions for changing the password, which will uh, help them in case they forget their password. They can also change colors. They've got slightly more icons in the launch pad, but again, this will be customizable by the school. And if they want to add bookmarks in here, it's just a matter of uh, adding in uh, or well, let's just say Mathletics, for example, is something that uh, this student might use. If they don't want to wait until uh, the teacher is able to customize it, they can add this themselves, mathletics.com.au. Uh, actually, I think it's just .com. They can change a color and they can say they want that to be shown in red, save the bookmark. And they also have some department games and department learning. Let's have a look at the final one and that is high schools. And if we bring that up, what you'll notice, we don't really have the kids font on here. It's a, a little bit more uh, senior for our students. So it's looking like the department's brands uh, with the similar color scheme. They don't get to change the colors. Uh, it's, it's about practicality, making it easy for them to access. Again, teachers will be able to customize the icons that appear in the launch pad. Uh, the students can add their own bookmarks and they've got some other department sites that are added for high school students as well and some slight differences in the department learning area. So that's our brand new student portals. They launch from the start of term four and hopefully our students will have a great time uh, accessing all of the learning resources that are available to them through their student portal.